Hey YouTube, you want to do a video on this lock I got the other day? Um, this is a Simplex Cubba L470 or LD470, something like that. Mount it on this display stand I made. Um, really botched it up. I got the side crookedly cut. And the latch is <laughs> recessed in there, yeah. Uh, at least it's just for display. Uh, the cool thing about this is. Um, you don't have to enter the number in any certain order. <laughs> when it, come on. There we go. One, three, five, eight. Or eight, four, five, three, one. Or one, eight, five, or three, five. It doesn't matter. All it's doing is lining up little tumblers in there. And if you push one that's not in the combination like two, it pushes that tumbler out of position. It's already in the right position for the numbers you don't use. And clear just resets them. F is like for a passage function, which I don't have set. You can enter the code and hit F or something, and it'll keep it unlocked. But yeah, it says it's for light duty use. I wouldn't, I don't know. It's a convenience thing. I've really never been fond of, of these type locks because they're so easy to hack. They're simplex, simple to hack X, I guess. I don't know. Um, but you can rub UV ink on there and then tell what buttons have been pushed. It's There's videos of it online. Um, actually, the stand doesn't look half bad even with the crooked weird cut. I just wish I'd been able. I just wish I'd measured and got the back set right because that looks kind of silly. But hey, it's a display. Um, there's the back side, just plain. Yeah, it's kind of neat. I took it apart the other day. There's pictures on keypicking.com of the insides of it. Well, that's all for now. The scanner's going in the background, and there's that new radio. Uh, thanks for watching. Bye.